Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Hope you're enjoying the holidays. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot, and we are here for a love reading for the sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my friends. Welcome to the channel if you're new. The overall energy is we have fruition. Ooh, what are you creating? I like this energy, Leo. Blossoming and fruition. Okay. What are you manifesting in love, darkness, the long night moon? Okay, so, you know, that's probably insecurity or a sense of feeling a little bit endangered, which we often feel when we're falling in love, especially. Sometimes it just does, it feels kind of spooky, but it's a lovely set of overall energy cards from Spirit. All right, so let's see what your overall energy is coming into the reading. Leo, let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. We have the world card. Beautiful energy. Love it. Manifesting. Manifesting something big, something exciting. Great energy for a reading. Very successful. Saturnian energy. Seventh house energy of a long-term committed relationship. Saturn is uh, rules Libra along with Venus, and that is going to the next level. So in the recent past, Leo, the combined energy of you and your partner, mutual energy is the Ace of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm having fun together, enjoying long conversations, a lot of lovemaking, but a lot of just very, very sweet, happy, fiery energy. So you're looking good, Leo. Ooh, here we have Sagittarius energy. So now we have the Knight of Wands, and that's Sagittarius energy. That's all about in and out energy, having fun, not taking anything too seriously, letting things unfold, being very passionate, but definitely not at the commitment stage yet. So your person, Leo, views you. They're trying to look at things from a different perspective. There's something about the relationship that they're curious about. We have Pisces energy. They're trying to intuitively figure out what you would like to have in relationship, what you're looking for, what's going to happen in the relationship. But they're hanging out. You know, that's very Cirque du Soleil, very, very gentle, very nice energy, trying to read the hieroglyphics, the secret language of love. How they view you, Leo. Your person views you with a Sagittarius energy that you would really like to make it work. If the two of you have been apart or in separation, uh, willingly or unwillingly, you know, by circumstances around the globe, we do see the energy that your person feels as though the two of you can make this work out. It can be a reconciliation. It can be a reunion, but it's really balancing the energies in love. It's one of the best love cards we can have. It's when it shows up, it also shows that you feel that your partner very much wants to work things out with you in a very favorable way. Your person in their heart space, we have the Scorpio King, somebody who loves very, very deeply with a lot of sensitivity. This is a person who doesn't speak about it. Scorpio energy is a little bit hidden. You know, it's secretive by nature. It's very intense, very sexual. So that makes sense that we have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Your person loves very deeply. They're very committed. It's a very fixed sign. Scorpios don't tend to be too fickle in love. Once they fall in love, they're in love. The way your person views the situation moving forward is, well, I spy Gemini. <laughs> no, it is Gemini energy, though, uh, Aquarius Gemini energy. But it really looks as though your person doesn't know. They feel very uncertain about the future. They do want to win. The Seven of Swords is a card that can even mean that somebody will be a little bit sneaky for the win. You know, it really says, like, this person is, like, on a reconnaissance mission trying to find out, you know, who you talk to. To me, this is almost like the Page of Swords on steroids. But it can mean that somebody could be keeping secrets themselves, again, with that Scorpio energy. Even if it's not a bad secret, this person's not revealing everything right now. So the way, the mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you, ooh, I like that Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy of the high priestess is, you know, superior knowledge, a very strong um, 
I think, connection between the two of you. Sometimes when we see the third eye here illuminated, it can mean telepathic communication or the ability to pick up on one another's energy. It's a very nurturing energy. It's very sweet. It's, um, it's very innocent in many ways. The High Priestess is very pure. So both of you have very pure, strong intentions for one another. Spirit is recommending that this is your person, that you recognize that your ships have arrived in the harbor, Leo. This is, uh, again, fire sign energy. We have Aries energy here. Very much compatible with you. Well, look at that Ace of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo energy. I like it. This is very much the planning for the future. It's in knowing that as you, you know, as this relationship blossoms and comes to fruition, you know, we have this moon card here and it's nighttime. Tiki torches, starry nights, beautiful energy for you. The Eight of Cups is the outcome card for right now. The Eight of Cups is walking away, looking for the Ten of Cups. So what we're seeing here is when I look at the moon card, the two of you may walk away from each other if this doesn't really come to fruition in a, I would say, a pretty short period of time. Both of you feel very vulnerable in this relationship, but we're going to clarify because the clarifiers are everything. I will also say that I traveled professionally for many years. As most of you know, I was an international flight attendant. The Eight of Cups, whenever I did readings for fellow crew members, which was every trip I went on. In the dark of the night, we did tarot readings in the galley. And that oftentimes appeared when we were traveling because we left home. We left what we loved behind, but we always came back home. But that oftentimes was a travel card. And I know it's unique to me, but my tarot journal was very, you know, that's how you really learn how your cards speak to you, is by keeping a tarot journal. So we will see what we will see. So why is the world card here for beautiful Leo friends? Why is the world here? What is this world card telling us in this reading? I just want to let everybody know I'm running a holiday special on my website for telephone readings. Mini readings, 10 minutes long, very, very uh, favorable structure with the special offer. All right, we have the Aries Queen, Queen of Wands energy, bossing up, taking control, you know, enjoying it, making your way to a commitment. A higher level of commitment is in the works, even though I don't think you know it with that Eight of Cups energy. The Devil card, okay. So we do have some toxicity here. You know, when we see this sort of energy where that we have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, it looks as though your person almost has this energy of, well, if I find anything I don't like, I'm going to walk away, which is reasonable, actually. But there is kind of a my way or the highway energy. There is sort of a desire on both your parts, I think, to be in charge of the relationship, which can be testy, to say the least. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. Well, the two of you fantasize about each other. I think the two of you have a very strong um, fantasy connection. It's also keeping your options open, knowing that if you make the wrong choice, it could turn out very badly. And if the Seven of Cups, if there's that feeling of fear, that can be what indicates an Eight of Cups event. So what else do we want to find out about this Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups? Two of Wands. Okay, there we go. So Spirit is telling you that mutually you're at a crossroads. Each of you is feeling as though you need to make a choice to choose each other or to move on with the Seven of Cups. So it's time to really make a decision about dating exclusively, being with each other exclusively, dedicating yourselves to a relationship with this new exciting beginning. Okay, so why is the Knight of Wands here? Five of Wands, there's competition. So right now, it looks like it's an early stage of a relationship in which both of you have still decided to, this is mutual energy, mutual energy. Both of you are keeping your options open. Right now, you're not, um, you're not committing. You're enjoying the fun. The Five of Wands can be, it's pretty low caliber 
you know, conflict sometimes. It can be, it's a very ego-driven card. It's Leo energy. There you are in your reading, Leo. But it really says you like to win. And the moon card says that both of you are not talking about it. There's the moon. So even though this relationship says it's coming to fruition, uh, there are some challenges, definitely. But there usually are. So what, why is the moon card here? What is it that's going unseen? Ah, <laughs> what did I say about the page of swords on steroids? Okay, so both of you are snooping. You are both studying each other on the internet and trying to figure things out. No wonder you've got this Seven of Swords energy with the Moon energy and the Devil energy. You really both want to have a success or a win. And if you don't, both of you want to be the first to leave, which is kind of funny. <laughs> the Hanged Man, why is it here? Heart of Pentacles, beautiful. I love it. Heart of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles energy. So we have two queens on the board here, and when we have the Aries queen, it can be, and we can, we always have to look at the possibility of a third party situation. But the queen of pentacles, that is Capricorn energy. The world card is uh, ruled by Saturn, Capricorn ruled planet. So it looks like your person is serious. They're trying to find a way in. Wheel of fortune, they're right, waiting for the right timing. Doesn't that make sense? So your person really wants a win. Sagittarius energy. Oh, there you go. There is a card. There is a card that says your person is really opening their heart. They are falling in love. This is a new love relationship. Nine of cups. They want to introduce you to their friends. They want to go out and have, you know, they want to take you out to parties and social, uh, socially entertaining situations and fun. And we have the Fool card. So your person, Leo, really wants this. They know that they want it, but they are not revealing it yet. So they are very much in their space of, you know, wanting to check everything out, wanting to be safe, not really telling you. The Five of Swords is clarifying the Temperance card. There's something about this person that's making you upset, though. Leo. Your person seems to think that sometimes you say things that are not kind. The Three of Wands, though, says that they see you as their person. They just think that sometimes with a Five of Swords, your person doesn't know if you're really telling the truth, the whole truth. But the Eight of Wands, there's a lot of passion. They see you as the One. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. Now we have the Eight of Wands. Oh, a desire to travel together, a lot of communication, moving rapidly forward in the relationship is how they view uh, what you want, what they want with you. It's also, hey, look out, baby, that's making love all night long. All right, the sun card is clarifying our king of cups. So your person is very much, ha they're so happy with you. We have the nine of cups happy, one of the wish fulfillment cards, the ace of cups, the fool card, and the sun card. Leo, that's you. You're here again in the reading. We have the innocence of cups. It's the happiest card in the deck. That almost looks, it's it's Mars, um, Mars and Leo. And what's interesting, though, is that almost looks like an engagement ring. But the Innocence of Cups, Page of Cups, says that your person is going to give you little, small things that they say or communications or messages that begin to really show their affection for you. Not a big offer. Not something. They're keeping that Ace of Cups. They're keeping that a secret from you. They are sneaky deacon around, hermit card. Sometimes they, I think this person might play some mind games with the Five of Swords, with the Seven of Swords, or they might think you're playing mind games. When they do think that that, that is the case, they go silent. Uh, the Ten of Coins, man, this person's in it. They are in it to win it. That is the Legacy Marriage card. You know, that's uh, elephants never forget. Elephants always are so loyal. They are very, um, a tremendous group of animals in terms of looking out for each other. They have a tremendous uh, social structure that creates legacy. It's beautiful energy and this is what your person is wanting with you. So Leo, Leo, 
You might be dealing with an, a Virgo. Six of Cups, a reunion card. That is Scorpio energy wanting to come back together. You may have known this person for a long time. You may actually have known them since childhood, or you may have known them uh, for, you know, six years. The Heart of Cups energy, there we go. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. So now we have Cancerian energy. We have three queens on the board. So that could be... That's interesting energy. It's a lot of queens here. Too many for it to be the same person. Oftentimes when I get two queens, I'll have like two versions. Like I'm a, I'm a Gemini with a Virgo rising. So it wouldn't be unusual for me to get a queen of swords and a queen of pentacles. But we have a lot of queens here, which also is indicative of not having made a choice yet, of keeping some of your options open of not really having declared this an exclusive relationship yet. Why do we have the Three of Wands here? We have Seven of Pentacles, so there you go. Spirit is saying invest, make a decision to invest in this relationship. Do that, you know, to move forward in your life. What else is Spirit advising you at this time? Ace of Wands, okay, so you've got the Ace of Wands twice. So Spirit is really suggesting to you that you really invest in the passion that you have here, that there is something about this relationship that's pretty special. Three of Wands three times now in this reading on the table between clarifiers. So we've had the Three of Wands. So Spirit is saying you've met your person. This person is really a good match for you. This is a person Spirit is recommending that you go ahead and you date exclusively, that you explore the relationship in depth. Why is the Eight of Cups here, the movement of cups? Okay. So what we have right now, though, as we close out the reading, is we have another Knight, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Knights are not committed. They're moving. They're in and out energy. So why is the Knight of Cups here? The Hanged Man. Okay. So what we're getting here is a decision hasn't been made and won't be made for a bit of time yet about the direction of the relationship. So right now, both of you are still in this energy of getting to know each other. Why would either of these people, why would Leo or their person walk away? The Sky Father, whoa. So you and your person would walk away because of a Sky Father. Why would, what does that represent? The Eight of Coins. Somebody that they can build with. Okay, so that makes sense. So what we're seeing is two people who want to win, sort of at all costs, who are playing it cool, who are still willing to date other people, even though uh, you're falling in love with each other, but we see a lot of energy here that both of you are, you just want to get to know each other better before you make any commitments. The Four of Cups says that there are there's still some uncertainty about this relationship. You don't know yet how you feel about each other, but the Spirit of Pentacles, this is very explanatory. The Spirit of Pentacles teaches us in the Tarot reading that both of you in this energy want to make sure that the other person has their own stuff. Like what it means is that you would not be interested in somebody if they don't have their own success, the Sky Father, if they don't have the ability to earn money because there is there is a sense of maybe a lack of sharing energy here. It's more, it's the energy more of two people wanting to come together with someone who's equally successful to them. And the energy is, is that if that weren't the case, there may be the decision to continue just, you know, dating openly with other people. But both of you want this relationship and your person, Leah, wants it, I believe, even more than you. So let's see what the energy is. I'm going to do a three card spread. Past, present, future over here. Let's see what we have. Past.
past here. Okay, so you were probably both married. Ah, somebody may, may be leaving a marriage. Because when we do get the Queen of Wands, it can be the other woman, but we did not have the classic indicators. Now, it could just be a stable relationship that is marriage-like. It could be leaving... Um, it could be leaving a relationship behind that is toxic with a third party, but I'm not seeing any real, I'm not seeing any here, anything here that would require a divorce, but Hierophant sometimes means, you know, a traditional relationship in which you live together like man and wife. So what we're seeing here is the Eight of Cups is now clarified with the fact that this may be a secret relationship, one in which you're sort of sneaking around, getting to know each other, you're not really committed, you have uh, other things going on, but you are definitely exploring this energy. And you know, hey, that's all's fair and love and war, as they say, uh, to the extent that you're not really you know, hurting anybody else or damaging them. So um, I'm going to leave it there for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, Leo.